All right, we'll go to the next one. Number four, <clears throat> Pamela Schuett says, Hi, Mike. Watched your video on Halloween and wondering what your thoughts are on murder mystery dinner parties. For that matter, murder mysteries in general. Is it wrong to be entertained by them? Um, to, okay, I'm going to put this in the category of, of conscience. And, uh, and here's why. When it comes to, when I say conscience, what I mean is I'm going to let each Christian decide and I'm not going to try to change their mind about it. That's what I mean. Um, <clears throat> Conscience comes in in a particular spot. When, it, when, a, when an issue is really, in, in all reality, it's not a sin issue in and of itself. Anything could become sin, but it's not a sin issue in and of itself. Then I leave it to the person's conscience because some people feel this way, some feel that way, and they should honor the Lord as, as according to that conscience. Um, your conscience cannot make sinful things okay, but it can make things that are okay into bad things for you. So you don't want to violate that conscience. Drinking is like this. Drinking in moderation is totally acceptable, biblically speaking, but maybe you don't want to drink. Maybe drinking is a problem for you, so you shouldn't do it. That's violating your conscience, but don't put it on someone else. I would think the same thing for mur murder mystery stuff. Um, now, there's some stuff that can be overly gory. It can be like really crude or whatever, really glorifying something bad. That could be a problem, but in principle, I think there's a category for this is fantasy and it's lighthearted, and I'm not going to demonize somebody for doing that. Um, so yeah, it, it depends. Now, each individual party, each the way they're doing it, the actors and the way they do it, that, that all kind of depends. But I don't want to throw that conviction on everyone else. Like it's my job as a Christian. Okay, there's there's two sides. There's always, on, a, on these issues, there's always the, the more conservative side and the more liberal side. And here, these are not mean, meant as negative terms. On this one, I'm on the more liberal side, meaning liberty. I think that a Christian has the liberty to go to a murder mystery dinner party if they want. Um, but then on the more conservative side, they'll, someone will be like, no, you don't. And they make it their mission to tell everybody they don't have that liberty. That's a problem. But the liberty people don't realize how oppressive they can be too. Because <laughs> then they make it their mission to go around and tell everyone how horrible these conservative people are on, on this particular issue. Oh, they're, here they come, those the, the conservatives and the, the, the Pharisees, the legalists. Um, what we don't realize is Paul's recommendation in Romans is on both sides. He says, hey, for those of you who have the liberty or who don't have the liberty, keep it to yourself that way. Don't judge right? Don't oppress those who do. And those who do have the liberty, don't look down upon. This is always ignored amongst those who have liberty. I think there's a big issue here. Those who have liberty, don't look down upon those whose conscience will not let them do these things. Read Romans 14, check it out for yourself. Hard pills to swallow in that passage, but it creates love and fellowship amongst uh, Christians who have different convictions on things. So yeah, there's my thoughts on that. In general, not wrong could be wrong depending upon the type of content there is. And I will not push that on anybody. I will let people's conscience direct them in it.